Today we're determined to find a campsite near McKinley Grove. This is a pretty spontaneous trip, so even though we were off to a late start, we loaded up the Toyota and hit the road. Nestled within the Sierra National Forest, McKinley Grove is home to giant sequoia trees which are some of the longest living things on Earth, living over 3,000 years. These spontaneous trips are often the most fun since they're unplanned and you just find a campsite as you go. Nothing concrete or set in stone, just exploring, making your own path, and finding your own adventure. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking the Toyota on its first camping trip of the year. Nothing crazy, we're just basically testing it out to get it ready for bigger wheeling trips later this year. We're getting a pretty late start today because as you'll see, we mounted a rooftop tent on the back of the pickup. I sold the camper shell, it just wasn't working out. After I built the drawer system and everything, I tried to lay back there and I don't know why I didn't think of this in the first place, but I don't fit in the bed, I'm too long. So I sold the camper shell to some guy from San Francisco um, and now we have the rooftop tent back there. So my buddy Ryan's actually letting me borrow this for the weekend and we're gonna see how we like it and if it's something that we might wanna pursue in the future, like building out a bed rack storage system back there with the rooftop tent. The journey to find camp is often what makes these trips so fun. We have an idea of where we want to go, but getting lost along the way and finding lost roads is where the real adventure lies for us. On our way to find camp, we found plenty of areas to explore in the future, and we made sure to mark our map so we don't forget where they are. It looks doable. I walked all the way down there, and it, on the right right here, it kind of cuts off, but if we keep going down, it looks like there might be a campsite at the end. Should we check it out? Yes. Well, we don't really know where this road would have gone, but... We're, we'll never know, because the tree fell down and the road's closed, so we're gonna keep looking for another campsite. Oh, still going. As I mentioned before, one of my favorite parts of off-roading and camping is the exploration aspect. Even though we're empty-handed at the moment, this process has resulted in some of the best campsites that we've ever had, and there's still a lot of promise for today. We continued our search for camp and found a stunning creek tucked behind the trees, and eventually we were met with a crossing. These landmarks seem to only be found when you're out there actively pursuing them, almost like you're asking nature to reveal itself to you, in a way. It really puts it into perspective just how vast this area is and how much there is to explore. got to camp. We were looking for a while uh, for a good campsite. We ended up somewhere in McKinley Grove. We're somewhere in McKinley Grove called Long Meadow and I'm starving guys. I need to eat something. This whole day has been just like running against the clock because we were mounting the rooftop tent getting everything ready. Neither of us have eaten. It's like 6 p.m. and we're just now setting up camp. When we first got out of the truck, we saw these little red things and we thought they were like flags or like camp markers or something, but they're this weird plant. Kind of looks like a, uh, a flower or a spore or something. Does anybody know what these are? They're super cool looking. Also, another thing that we did is we, um, we were in such a rush that we forgot to pack our table. So basically we're just gonna unload chairs and cook everything on the tailgate and set up the rooftop tent. So this is gonna be our table right here, the drawer system that we built last year. Actually the first time that we've used it is right now. We haven't went camping since last year. So this is the, uh, the first run of the, of the drawer system, but it actually might be gone soon because as you see, there's no room anymore with the rooftop tent. It was made to, um, be with a camper shell and the camper shell just didn't work out for the uh, reasons I mentioned earlier. So now I'm probably just going to remove the drawers and come up with a different solution. So it sucks that I built the whole thing just to take it out, but it looks pretty cool. So 
So we got the tent all set up. It was pretty easy. It basically just folds out and then you set up the rain flies and everything, set the ladder down right there. But one of the issues that we're dealing with, I don't know if you can see it very well on camera, but this half of the tent is kind of angled upward. And that's because the bed rails that I used were off a Jeep or something. It kind of like clips to the rail on the ceiling and the tent's hitting this part of the mount right there. So this isn't a permanent solution. As I said, we're just testing out the rooftop tent to see if it's something that we want to go with on the truck. But I think we'll be able to just sleep with our heads over here to kind of sleep at that kind of angle instead of having our feet up. Um, and also we're going to tear the rain flies off so we can uh, get a cool view when we're sleeping. I gotta be honest here, I'm no expert in bushcraft. I just know that I like making fire pits and carrying rocks. There's something primal about it, and I don't know, I just really enjoy doing it. The existing fire pits were way too close to the trees, there were overhanging branches, and they weren't located on flat ground, so I just decided to make my own. Hopefully whoever camps here next can use it too. Just got camp set up, cracked open a cold one. We got the fire going, a little bit smoky, but it's going. And the whole tent set up and Megan's over there uh, prepping the dinner. Gonna help her out in a second, but let me show you the inside of this tent. It's pretty cool. So I know these things have been around forever, but this is our first time camping in one, thanks to our friend Ryan letting us borrow his. The only thing I've really found about it so far that I don't like is the ladder. I wish it was a little bit more vertical because it feels kind of sketchy climbing up it. Tacos. Tacos. Just but as you can see, there's definitely room to sleep two people with room to spare. And one of the concerns that I see with these things, and I actually had the concern myself, was that it would be adding too much weight onto the bed and that it might throw off your center of gravity for wheeling. And honestly, the thing isn't that heavy. It's only like 150-ish pounds, and I don't really see it being that much of a problem. So we're probably gonna be picking up a tent for this truck. But that's enough of that. Let's go make some tacos. You're stacking those things. My hands are frozen. It's cold. <laughs> that fire is going. Very good. <laughs> All right, well, it's time to call it a night. The feelings have kind of changed about the tent. The sleeping pad in this thing is is very thin, so it's kind of like you're laying on a rock, but I think you could solve that with some foam topper or something. Other than that, it's pretty good. Megan's freezing over here. You can't even see her. She's so tucked in her sleeping bag. So I'll see you guys in the morning. 
Good morning. On the menu today we have eggs, turkey, kielbasa sausage, hopefully I'm saying that right, and just uh, some bacon. Just a really simple, easy camping breakfast. that all on camera. Okay. These are all clean and ready to go. Sorry, Ryan. I broke your strap off your tent. I didn't pull it that hard. All right, so after we left our campsite, since we were already in the McKinley Grove area, we decided to stop by the big tree area. So some of these trees are like 2,000, 3,000 years old, and they're absolutely gigantic. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but these trees over here, like that one, and all these over here, they are the width of, uh, I don't know, probably a full-size truck, if not wider. They are huge. Look how small the Toyota looks next to that tree. All right, so it says, welcome to McKinley Grove of big trees. McKinley Grove was first discovered by early settlers in 1869. Originally, the grove was named the General Washington Grove by Frank Ducey, a local pioneer. The giant sequoias in McKinley Grove have never been logged. The tallest tree towers over 230 feet. The largest diameter tree still standing in the grove is 19 feet, six and a half inches. This 100 acre grove contains approximately 216 sequoias that have diameters over six feet. These giants are among the oldest of all living things on earth. Some of these sequoias are estimated to be 2000 years old. Look how massive this tree is. It's absolutely gigantic. If you parked your truck next to this thing, it would look like a little power wheel or something. It's crazy. Wow. <laughs> look how big this tree is. Are there a lot of spiders in there? Spider webs. <laughs> I'm just showing you how big it is. It is huge. It's crazy. Look at this. Something Megan just noticed was that there's actually no branches all the way to the very top. I wonder if thousands of years ago these had branches or if this is always how they've been. Oh, she found a woodpecker. Oh, it's gone. So it's about the fallen trees and a bunch of people, of course, have vandalized this. Don't do this kind of stuff, guys. 
but it says sequoias have a thick protective layer of bark and are filled with the harsh chemical tannin. The bark gives the tree some protection from fire and insect attacks, and the tannin repels insects, helping to preserve the wood. These protective measures are why the sequoias are very slow to decompose. And then it says right here that this particular tree fell in 1974 after living almost 2,000 years. It's crazy. And you can see there's actually some carving in here from like January 1988. Like people are putting dates in here. 7, 1975. That's insane. This thing just fell down and just hasn't moved. Just been stationary just to leave its mark forever. All right guys, we're headed back down the mountain now on our way back home. And I gotta say, it felt really good to get out there and go camping again after almost a year. The campsite was awesome, the truck did really well, and on our way back out, we were able to check out the big trees in McKinley Grove, which was super cool. As far as the tent goes, the setup and breakdown was really quick and easy, and it allowed us to set up camp really fast. But the one thing that a tent is used for, primarily, which is sleeping, it did a really terrible job of. The, the sleeping pad is so thin that you can feel the hard layer underneath it, and it just made it to be a really uncomfortable night in that tent. So we are keeping our options open. Not sure if we're sold on that exact brand. Anyway guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Thank you for following along on the camping trip. If you guys enjoyed this content, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.